Hey guys, Steph, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be doing a full face of first impressions. I'm gonna be doing like a little soft glam makeup look today, I think, focusing mostly on my skin. I have to head out to visit someone in the hospital in a minute. Send me some good vibes, please. Uh, so I don't wanna scare anyone with like an insane like blue green cut crease or anything. So we're keeping it kind of soft. And I think most are gonna focus on skin today. I've got a mix of drugstore, high end, some slightly more niche brands, um, loads of different bits to be honest. So uh, yeah, looking forward to this. And before we get into the video, I am very, very excited because I have a sponsor and it is one of my fave people to work with. It is Karma. You guys know if you've been around here for a while, I love Karma. Genuinely, I don't really work with any other apps, but Karma, Karma's great. Okay, Karma's great. I should probably tell you why Karma's so great. Okay, do you like saving money? Do you like to get discounts? Do you like to get cash back? If you like paying like more than you actually need to, maybe Karma isn't for you. But I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys like me, like a bargain, like a discount, uh, like to save money. I mean, who doesn't? So if you do, Karma's for you. And okay, before we get into all the details, Karma is totally free. There is literally nothing to lose by just downloading the app or the Chrome extension. So it's a totally free Chrome extension and app that helps to save you money. And you don't really have to do anything. Like it, it, it sounds too good to be true, but it genuinely isn't. So like I said, Karma is a free Chrome extension and app and it is so quick and easy to download. It literally takes like two clicks and you're done. I'll put a little cutaway on screen now, but basically Karma automatically finds and applies discount codes to save you money. So like I said, you literally don't have to do anything. Once you've downloaded Karma, it will do everything for you. You don't have to go searching for like discount codes or coupon codes or wait for sales or anything like that. Karma will notify you every time there's a sale, every time there's like an offer on a product that you love. So you don't even have to shop differently. You literally just go to checkout like you normally would. The Karma pop-up will show up and you go apply and it will run through all the discount codes. You'll literally see it happening in real time. It'll be like this one, 10% off. Eh, let's try this one, 15% off. And you will see your discounts racking up. And then right at the end, it'll say, discount code applied, you've saved 30% or like you've saved like, I don't know, like 20 pounds on this order. It is crazy. So that's one way that Karma works, which is like my fave. It's like the lazy girl's option for finding like the best discounts. I love it. But another way that Karma works is you can actually go and save products onto your Karma wish list. So you can organize things in as many different wish lists as you want. I have some for clothing, makeup. I've got a home one as well. So I can literally organize everything by wish lists. And the cool thing about that, say for example, I don't know, you've gone and saved an eyeshadow palette to your wish list and you're just sitting there thinking, I don't need it now, but I want it at some point in my life. Once you've saved it to your Karma wish list, they will actually notify you. You can either do emails or push notifications depending on what you want. But basically Karma will send you a notification and it'll say, this item is back in stock or this item has like 20% off or you know, whatever discount you kind of want. And so you'll get a notification and Karma will literally just let you know, hey, we know you liked this item, it's cheaper now if you want to get it. So it literally like, again, does everything for you. You don't even need to be shopping at that time to actually get the discounts. They will let you know when something you like has been discounted. And then on top of all that, you can also get cash back for other orders that you place as well. Like I did an order with Miss Guida the other day and I got like five pounds cash back just for shopping. Like I was always skeptical with cash back things. I'm like, okay, but why? Like, how does that work? But it, like, you literally don't have to do anything. When you're doing an order, it says like, wanna get cash back from Karma? And I'm like, free money, yeah, okay. At this point, why haven't you got it yet? Genuinely, why haven't you got Karma yet? That's the better question. I feel like I'm like shouting at you, like, oh God, I'm like attacking my table now. Like, why haven't you got it yet? Cause honestly, if you wanna save money, which at this point, who doesn't? Like, why haven't you got it? I'm judging you if you don't, I am. So for those of you out there that don't like saving money, you like paying more, like fair enough, totally fair enough. But I know a lot of you guys like me, like a bargain, love a discount code. So if you do, make sure you check out Karma down below. Honestly, it is so, so good. It is a complete game changer. So I'll leave a link down below and also on screen now so you guys can check it out. One thing I will say is if you can, make sure you download the Chrome extension just because that is where you can get the pop-up discount codes. Like I have it on my phone and it's amazing. But on my browser, it's a bit of a game changer. So yeah, guys, if you wanna check out Karma, link down below. Appreciate you, appreciate Karma, appreciate you guys supporting me, the channel, whatever. You know what I'm about to say, right? Let's do some makeup, shall we? Let's get it on my face. 
So first of all, I'm gonna do my brows. I have the Liquid Brow Silk from Iconic London. I swatched this the other day in a PR haul, which isn't up yet because I'm doing my office. As you guys see this video, the office switchover is happening. And so I have pre-filmed a few videos, but I showed this in the PR haul and it reminded me a bit of the Refi Brow Sculpt. So I wanna give it a try today. And I'm just gonna run that through my brows. It's like a white kind of consistency. Doesn't seem to be as thick as the Refi one. Actually, yes it does. Okay, when you get a good amount of product on there, it does seem quite similar. I like the little, the little spoolie as well. Yeah, this is exactly the sort of product that I thought it was. My brows are like stuck down, but they feel comfy. I know this might sound silly, but my brows look hydrated from using this. They've got like a shine to them, but not like, not like an actual shine, you know what I mean? But they don't look dry or flaky or anything like that. And there's no like white crispy bits on there either. As long as this lasts, yeah, this is, this is exactly the kind of brow product that I like. This is so good. So now for my skin, I have two very bougie products. This is from New by E. Celeron. I have the Glow In Balm, which I think is like a skincare makeup hybrid. That's what the like general brand is. Um, but I think this is like, you can put it on as a highlighter, you can use it as a primer. Uh, I'm gonna put it all over my face because I like to be sheeny, shiny, shimmering splendid. But the packaging is quite simple but I'm kind of into it to be honest. And I swatched this again the other day, but I haven't actually used it on my face. So it just looks like a lotion, has a soft, okay, when you rub it in, it does have quite a strong perfume scent. I don't mind it. I, as you guys know, love, love perfumey smells. I like it when things smell nice. Um, but just a heads up, cause I know some of you maybe aren't that great with fragrance. What do you guys say is like your favorite scents? Not scent, but like seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting. Cause I mean, obviously like seeing is pretty useful. I mean, they're, they're all pretty useful to be honest, but I honestly, if I lost my sense of smell, I'd be gutted. I would be so gutted. I think I'd probably even be more gutted than do people even say gutted? I feel like no one really says it anymore. But I feel like I'd be, I don't know, I feel like I'd be more devastated if I lost my sense of smell over my sense of taste. I do love eating food though, but then maybe I wouldn't eat as many sweets. I don't know, but scents to me are like everything, as you guys probably know, because every like five minutes I'm there like, does this product have a smell? Okay, this has just gone on like a moisturizer. It's early days obviously, but this has made my skin look so healthy. Like obviously I don't have a scrap of anything on right now, but if I just had a little bit of under eye concealer or something on, this is giving me everything I need right now. My skin is playing ball at the minute. And yeah, so far so good with this. You can use it as like, I think you can use it literally like over makeup, like over like powders and stuff. You can use it as like a highlighter. So far it feels nice. It does like feel like something on your skin. Like it has not even a tack to it, but it does just feel like very, very moisturizing and hydrating, uh, but that's what I love. So thumbs up for that. Now I'm gonna move in to the Bare Look Tint. So again, this is by the New Range and I have it in the shade New 7. So they actually sent this over to me. So fingers crossed, this is a good color. I mean, it looks like the right sort of tone. I've got a cream bronzer to try it anyway, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, switch over to the macro. How you doing? So yeah, I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna apply a little bit of this on my fingers first, just to see. Oh, it's very, very liquidy. Now it has kind of like blurred everything out a little bit. Again, like my skin is playing ball at the minute, so it hasn't got too much to cover up. Let's try it with a sponge quickly. I'll do like half my face so we can compare the two. I never thought I would be one of those people that's like, actually, I do quite like the uh, the sheer coverage tints going on at the minute. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still got a lot of love for being a full on cake face. But I feel like in the summer and everything as well, like when I get a tan, and my skin is always better in the summer as well, um, I do go a lot more lighter coverage when it is warmer. See, I feel like it's like it's not added any color to my skin or anything, 
but it has blurred everything out a bit. Can you guys see that? I know obviously it's not gonna be like the most drastic thing in the world because it is a sheer tint product, but I just feel like that still looks nice and glowy from the um, like primary sort of stuff, but that does just look a bit more even, a bit more, yeah, just healthy. Can you guys notice that? Is it just me? Yeah, just like around here. It just looks more alive. So now for concealer, I'm gonna be trying out this Rimmel one. It's again, a part of the Kind of Free range. I think this is one of the only products now that I haven't tried out from this range. And I've loved pretty much everything so far. If you guys haven't tried it, their skin tint is really, really good. But yeah, I'm gonna try out the concealer. This is in the shade Light. Looking at it, might be a little bit too light, but again, I'm just gonna have some super light under eyes today, and then I'm gonna bronze everything up in a second. So I'm gonna go in with some of that. The doe foot is pretty standard. It's just a little mini one there. And then just making sure that I, I did have like pink on this the other day. And then I'm just gonna blend that out with my sponge. I'm using my Cash Beauty sponge, by the way. I love this thing. Okay, blend it out nicely. I'm gonna go in with the second layer just cause it's pretty much what I always do. Focus it mostly on that little bit of darkness there. Oh, that actually, it's not giving me like the craziest coverage, which apparently today is not about coverage, who would have thought, but it's it's brightened up my inner corner enough. I'm just looking at myself in the viewfinder there. It's brightened my inner corner up, that again, just makes me look healthy. Look how healthy I am. Health is wealth. Makeup is a lie and I love it. Blends out really nicely. And the formula as well looks quite nice on my skin. Doesn't look dry. And it looks quite nice and hydrated on my under eyes as well. Yeah. Oh my God, I feel like I'm getting healthier and healthier by the minute. You know how like, I feel like it's not as much of a thing now, but around like New Year and stuff, people bring out fitness DVDs or like healthy eating DVDs. Maybe I'll bring out like a healthy face, floppy disk or something. And I'll just be like, look, okay, who can be bothered with losing weight or eating right? Like new year, new me. No, let's face it, it's, it's same year. No, new year, same me. Uh, let's just pretend. So here's a book or floppy disk on how to pretend that you're healthy. Cause you know, fake it till you make it. How you are on the outside projects how you are on the inside and vice versa, floppy disk coming soon. The fact that some of you won't even know what floppy disks are kills me. Anyway, moving on from floppy disks to bronzers. Uh, casual little segue there. I have the new Kronzer from Be Perfect. I don't know why, the, the word Kronzer just kind of makes me laugh a little bit. Uh, but yeah, cream bronzer, I have two different shades. I think I'm gonna go in with, I don't know. Let's do like a pecan. Go in with pecan. I let the universe decide which bronzer I was gonna use. So yeah, this is the new cream bronzer from Be Perfect. Oh, oh, I like the packaging. That color, as long as I don't use too much of it, that's a nice tone, especially for my tan, which again, let's not talk about my hands. Still working through all my tans at the moment. So if you, if you think my tan looks dodgy at any point, it ain't my fault. I'm just, I'm trying everything out. So I'm gonna go in with a little buffing brush, and this is the Zoeva face shape. And I'm gonna dot this on first. Okay, looks like it's gonna be quite pigmented, so I'm just going to pat that in with a brush and build it up if I need more. Oh my God, stunning. Blends out like a freaking dream. Okay, let's go a little bit more. Hang on a minute. This might even be nicer than the ABH cream bronzer, which I love. That's one of my favorites. I think this is better. Obviously super, super intense right now. But then when you blend it out, it's like, it's like a, it's not even necessarily like a cream. There's a hair on my lip. It's like a gel more than anything. There's a hair somewhere, can't get it off. If you see it, let me know in the comments. Be like, look, you might go, oh no, I've applied too much. And then you just blend it out and it's like, no. We've got you, you're fine. 
This is actually stunning. Be Perfect are killing it at the moment. Again, I've said it before, I really, really like their palettes. I think everyone likes their palettes, but the products they've been bringing out recently as well have been so, so good. I'm not even a cream bronzer girl, but I think, I think Be Perfect have made me a cream bronzer girl. Cause this is also just warming me up just the right amount as well. Just so like my face is matching my dry arms. My arms are so dry right now. My face, however, looks juicy. Look at my juicy face. <gasps> Love it. So now for powder, I have this one from number seven. It's the Flawless Finishing Loose Powder in Translucent. So that's way too much. I don't need that much. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that on a brush. Go under my eyes. You all know the drill. How are you looking? Let's see. Oh, smooth. Ooh, it's not taking away too much shine. Doesn't look too matte or anything, especially around my nose. Let's go in with a big brush. This is still keeping a ton of the glow on my cheeks. Oh, today is a good skin day. I'm loving how this looks. I don't know about you guys, but I love this. That powder is actually so nice. I've got a little bit in my eyebrow, so let's try and ignore that. This all looks really, really good together. So now for blusher, I have this one from Charlotte Tilbury. It's part of the Pillow Talk collection and it's the Cheek to Chic Swish and Glow Blusher. And I can't open it, ow. Almost like broke my finger then. It's slightly dramatic. So this is what it looks like. Looks like a nipple. And basically the idea is you go swish. That. That's what, that's what it is, right? Swish and glow. I swear these used to be called, they used to have swish and pop, I'm assuming, because this is more of like a, a highlighter in the center. That's why it's called swish and glow. Maybe, who knows? I assume so. But I'm gonna pop a decent amount of that on my face because I'm not too scared of blusher anymore. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Pat me on the back. I feel like I need like a sticker or a lollipop or something like, I conquered my fear of blusher. And I'm gonna go under my eyes as well because I've been liking that recently. Noticing a little bit of creasing on my under eyes, if you guys can see there, but nothing too major just yet. Just press that in with my sponge. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm gonna do a teeny tiny little bit of the blusher on my nose. Yeah! I mean, it's bougie, it's obviously very, very expensive, but I think that's nice. It's a nice blusher. I'm not necessarily like <gasps> the best blusher I have ever tried in my life, but I like it. Happy to have it, happy to feel like a fancy lady with Charlotte Tilbury, and happy to carry that on with my fancy lady Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Multi Glow Beautifying All Over Glow Highlighter. It's a highlighter, basically. Oh, we've got like a little Mother of Pearl moment here. Is that Mother of Pearl? Rose Quartz, I think it's more Mother of Quartz. Let, we've made a new one up. Look at this. I am not worthy. Like, I am not sophisticated enough to use these products. I'm really not. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a little mix of these shades here. I'm gonna stay away from that pink one a little bit, I think. Yeah, okay, let's give that a little wiggle there. And pop that. I know some of you absolutely live for the pause. When I apply highlighter, it's so funny because I do as well. I'm like <gasps> waiting with bated breath. That looks bloody great, doesn't it? Again, more of like the whole wet skin situation. This looks bloody beautiful. I'm gonna take a little brush and go in with that slightly more goldy shade and just pop that on my brow bone. Ooh, that's a pretty color. So make a really nice eyeshadow palette as well, like using that pink all over your lid. It did look similar to that, that should be coming soon. Well, it will be coming soon. I can't remember when I'm planning on posting it. But um, yeah, that'd be a really nice little pinky color all over the lid. And then the snores. I am so glowy right now and I am loving it. Thumbs up for that as well. Kind of want to hate something in a minute. Like I don't because I have to leave in a second. Kind of want to have like <gasps> drama in this video. <gasps> Doesn't like a lipstick. Oh my God. Speaking of lipstick, I'm now gonna go in with the Emmerlyn Lip Liner. Uh, I'm gonna do a nude. Cause like I said, I'm doing a bit more of like a soft glam kind of situation. Okay, so I have this red shade here. 
and then I have a nude. So basically, Emmeline basically do a bunch of nudes and a bunch of reds. Oh my God, this one's very, very pinky. It's, I thought it was like a full on pinky nude. I thought it was more of like a pinky nude, but it is just more of a pink. These are super pigmented. It's really, really creamy as well. It is quite pink, it's a lot more pink than I thought it was. Quite like corally. So I'm gonna leave my lips like that. And then for my lipstick, I have one of these new L'Oreal lipsticks. I'm gonna go in with the shade, let's try this one out. That's not what the shade's called. <laughs> it's called the Le Nude Admirable. Oh yeah. Tones it down a little bit. And these are the new Intense Volume Mattes. I really like that color. That color actually reminds me quite a bit of Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, to be honest. That feels really good though. I need to do a little bit of clear up there, but it feels really, really hydrating. So now for my eyes, I have this new palette here from Be Perfect as well, which I'm very excited about. They have a few different shades of these, and it's four different shades, and it's like for a compass. So we have like, like I have to say it in a funny way, North, East, South, West. Because in my head, I literally say, never eat shredded wheat. That's how I've always remembered it. Uh, but we have the North News today, and they also sent me the, uh, I think it's called like, East Emeralds, and that one looks stunning. But yeah, thought I would try out the formula today, because again, love Be Perfect eyeshadows, but haven't ever tried out their smaller palettes. So we're just gonna do a little, a little warm tone brown situation today, I think but I just wanna try out the formula mostly. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Sand first and run that all over my lid and in my crease a little bit. Can you tell I've had to speed up because I'm aware I've gotta leave in a bit. Okay, that's just given me, that's just like even my eyelid out quite a bit to be honest. I never use like a nude shadow all over my lid, but I feel like I maybe should, like if I'm just doing like a liner or something, cause it actually does make quite a bit of a difference. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Soil, I think, first. And obviously I'm gonna put that shimmer all over my lid in a minute. And I'm just taking a large fluffy brush. And I'm gonna blend that in. And the reason I put the um, sand shade underneath is because I didn't want it to be like super, super intense because I know that Be Perfect eyeshadows, they are pigmented. So I want something a little bit softer, a little bit more smoky. Blending out, absolutely fine as to be expected. That was so easy. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade Earth and I'm using the same brush. This is, yeah, quite like a cool toned gray brown almost. And I'm gonna pat that on the outer corner, do one of my go-to sort of looks where I do medium color in the crease, deeper color on the outer corner, and then something lighter or shimmery in on, on the inner corner and in the center. So I'm just blending that in as well, just to deepen that a bit. And I'll show you guys a swatch quickly because I am using a very, very light hand. Like you can see, they are they are very, very pigmented, but I just want something that is a bit more soft so I don't go in to the ward and they, I don't know, I give like some poor elderly gentleman a heart attack or something. Like, Ugh! the last thing he sees is me with like a green cut, cut crease, like, hello. I'm gonna blend that back in with a little bit of soil. So that, Earth color, and I didn't use crazy amounts. It is, it isn't blending out like the best. Like it is blending out, but maybe not like to the level that I wanted it to. So now I'm gonna take the shade Golden, which is this shimmer, which honestly looks stunning to be fair. And I'm gonna use my little finger and pop that all over my lid and um, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of nice, isn't it? That's pretty bloody great. That is literally like a foil. And my lids are set down, like there's nothing like gripping. I've not, not done anything special, it's just, it's just stunning. That's all it is, it's just, it's just stunning. That's so nice. I'm gonna tap that ever so slightly across my lid. That's a really good shimmer. That is, yeah. I'm now actually gonna use one of the new KVD Tattoo Pencil Liners. This is in the shade Pyrolucite Brown. Had to like just figure out that, uh, that word then. But I wanna do a little flick here. And then also maybe a little bit on my inner corner as well. 
Not normally a pencil liner kind of girl, but today I will be. And then I'm just going to use a brush just to wing that out a little bit sharper. Nice. And then again, I'm going to take a tiny little bit right on the inner corner there. Yeah, cool. Just a little bit more of like a feline shape. So now we are going to whiz on and do the mascara. So I have the new L'Oreal Par Paris. L'Oreal Paris. Uh, <laughs> What was that? Air Volume 30 Hour Mega Black. So they have a few of um, mascaras like in this range, but I think this is their newest one. So we're gonna give that a go. It's got a nice chunky wand. And I mean, 30 hours is, um, 30 hours is quite a long time really to be wearing your mascara. I wouldn't recommend it, but you know, good to know, I suppose. I'm not gonna be wearing it for 30 hours today, but maybe that means that 12 hours will be easy peasy. It's giving me nice, thick lashes, which is what I like. Yeah, the formula looks good. Makes my lashes really, really chunky, which I kind of love. Look at that. I mean, I know you can see them. I know you can see my lashes right now. Okay, I am now going to do the other eye off camera, sort my hair out. Um, I think that's kind of all I really need to do. And then, yeah, I'll check back with you guys in a second for the finished look. All right guys, so just went off camera, tidied up my lip, did the other eye, all that jazz, and this skin, it's not showing up as well as it does in person. So right now, it does just look a little bit almost like too shiny for camera. It's not camera makeup, I wouldn't say personally, maybe in like natural light, but not artificial. But in person, this looks really good. Really, really good. So anyway, I've got to head off in a second. I'll include a little macro clip of how my skin is looking right now. And I'm gonna be going out obviously to the hospital doing my little visit. I'm gonna be going for uh, kind of like a lunch, dinner sort of situation. I'm gonna be having a couple of drinks, escape room. Like I've got a fun little afternoon plan. So I'm gonna go and do that. And I will check back with you guys a little bit later and we'll see how all of this wears. But yeah, it's a pretty standard, neutral, shimmery eye kind of makeup look. My hair is just not playing ball today. Um, but yeah, it's quite like a sort of natural, soft glam sort of situation. No lashes, nothing like that. This mascara, by the way, it, it's intense, like in a good way though. Like it's making my lashes so, so chunky and like airing on the edge of being a bit too spidery, but it's just enough. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it here for now. Gonna go out, have a little bit of fun and then I'll check back with you guys in a second. All right guys, so it has been a while now. It's currently half eight in the evening. We went out for food. We had a couple of drinks. Uh, we got caught in the rain. We went to an escape room. So I feel like we did quite a few things and I've had this makeup on now for over eight hours at least and it's glowy. It was always glowy even before we sort of did anything. And I feel like it's worn fairly well. There's like a few things that I'm looking at like on my chin, it's maybe broken up a little bit. Like it's not looking as skin-like as before. It's still looking very, very glowy, but it's not looking as necessarily flawless. I have like a bit of like crust in the corner of my mouth, which is always nice. The lip liner and everything did wear off over time. But again, I ate a lot, had a couple of drinks. Like I've been doing a lot of stuff. So it's still there enough, but it has kind of faded. Uh, the eye makeup is... You know, it's worn a little bit, but again, it's still there. The mascara has worn so, so well. Like it's kept a curl in my lashes. It's still really, really black. It hasn't like broken down or anything under my eyes. The brows are actually doing pretty well as well. Like they're still stuck in place, but without being like stiff or anything. So yeah, I mean, I would probably say the base makeup isn't necessarily the most long wearing kind of thing, but again, it's super light coverage. So like you don't really notice like anything on your face too much. It's more of just a case of like the texture changes a little bit, but I do really like it. I feel like it's something that I would like a lot more without any powder. It's not really like a filming kind of base. It's more of like an everyday out and about glowy sort of situation. So I do like it, but yeah, maybe not for filming and my baby hairs are loving life right now. The mascara, really, really good. I like the highlighter. It's still popping nicely on my cheeks. The lipstick and everything wore really nicely and it has faded quite nicely, but it's not the most long wearing thing. What else? The eyeshadow is nice. It's lasted, how has it lasted actually? Let's have a little closer look. 
It's lasted fairly well. It has sort of like sheared out a little bit. Uh, the powder, I, again, kind of like the powder for every day, not for filming. Um, but yeah, I do actually quite like the powder. I'm trying to think of what else I tried out. Oh my God, love the cream bronzer. Absolutely obsessed with that stuff. Gonna be using this a whole lot more. I am so, so into this. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you thought of this look in the comment section down below. Maybe not now, but maybe like once I was done with the look, so like a few minutes ago in this video. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. And don't forget, if you guys do wanna save money, which if you don't, fair enough, judging you slightly, but if you wanna save money for free and then also get cash back, make sure you check out Karma. The link will be on screen and also down below. It is so, so good, honestly. Like you will try it and you'll go, I get it. I totally get it. So yeah, make sure you check out Karma down below. I'm now gonna go and do something to this hair because the rain and my hair today was just not it. So I'm gonna go and sort this out. I feel like it's literally like expanding as time goes on. I'm like Monica from Friends right now. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it here. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Literally like expanding. Bigger and bigger. These la- oh my God. <laughs> wow. This mascara is nuts though. Like look at my lashes, that's all I can look at right now. I need to sort out this hair. Do I? No one's gonna see me apart from half a million people on the internet. Might just leave it like this and deal with it tomorrow. Let's do that. Anyway, bye.